Hi students, how are you? I hope each one among you are doing great and well. Welcome to Supnit's classes. This is Rehmat Latif, your biology educator. In this video, we are going to talk about population stabilization and birth control. Okay. In our previous session, we saw why do we need to, to uh, why do we need a what's the need of family planning? What are contraceptives? How can we use them? Why should we use them? Why should we consult doctors? Okay. What is the which um, oral contraceptives was oral oral contraceptive was discovered by Central Drug Research Institute of Lucknow? How did we do advertisement during 1951s? That is mid 18th century when there was was no social media and so on and so forth. If you didn't watch that video yet, please go and watch that video then watch this video too okay in this video we are going to learn about population stabilization and birth control you know uh, talking about the last century from last century this world has developed okay in various fields along with the field of health we have so many hospitals we all know about health related issues right from the beginning from the child since childhood so we have moreover we have increased health facilities okay with the help of all these facilities with the help of all these knowledge we know that what is right and what is wrong for us so with the help of all this that death rate becomes so low okay it death rate becomes very much lesser which is known as mortality mortality due to health uh, facilities due to medical facilities due to hospital availability of uh, hospitals availability of food availability of everything mortality rate decreases mortality rate decreases and natality rate increases right natality rate increases I'll tell you, mortality rate means death rate. Mortality rate means death rate and natality rate means birth rate. Right? I hope this concept about death rate and birth rate is clear. We will talk about how it impacts, how, what was the, uh, what was population during different years. Okay? in world and in india we will compare we will compare both of them that of india and that of world okay okay talking about world population and in india population and india population okay hold on Okay, talking about world <coughs> world population and population in India. I'll write it here. World population, Indian population, okay. Okay, I think I should write, okay. World population was around 2 billion in 1900 in 1900 world population was around 2 billion okay and in 2000 in year 2000 it went to 6 billion and in 2011 world population went to 7.2 billion okay 
talking about indian population it was 350 million um you know during world war independence sorry around around year 1945 indian population was about 350 million in 2000 it was 1 billion and in 2011 it went to 1.2 billion oh my god okay so uh, talking about census report of 2011 it was such an alarming situation for all of us because indian population went to 1.2 billion oh my god whereas world population was 7.2 billion and um, to uh, that of 10% uh, of population was in india it was such an alarming situation right for all of us so we become very cautious because of this report through our rch programs reproductive and child health programs as i already mentioned that according to 2011 census report i'll write it down according to 2011 census report say for example we were having thousand <coughs> child per year in that thousand child 20 were per thousand per year was from india oh my god 20 childs from thousand childs per year was from india and it was such an alarming growth because since we have we are you know reaching heights of population right we could face scarcity of food scarcity of food we could face scarcity of food we could face uh, what we call it as uh, so many uh, Uh, so many scarcity of basic growths like scarcity of food scarcity of shelter okay so on and so forth it was becoming very you know situation was becoming really very out of control so the government was uh, forced to take necessary um, serious steps for population of growth for in order to check population growth rate okay and uh, most important step was that contraceptive method you can have intercourse with your partner but what you need to use you you really need to use contraceptives okay and we were having slogan we two are two hum do hamare do okay and as i already mentioned in previous session i am already again um, telling you guys that most of the uh, working couples like urban couples young couples they adopted only one child norm okay they said we will have only one child okay instead of having two or three or so many so and talking about age government took a necessary step they said that age of male during marriage or males can't have marriage before this age that is 21 years and that of age of female should be 18 years okay they said we really need to think about this 21 years and 18 years okay i hope this concept about age is clear right i think this concept about age is clear age of female should be 18 years and that of male should be 21 years before this age they can't marry okay and i'll tell you some of how ideal contraceptive should be okay some features of ideal contraceptive First of all, ideal contraceptive should have. First of all, ideal contraceptive should be user friendly, right? They shouldn't. be anything like that which will hurt them okay, they should be user friendly moreover ideal contraceptive should be. 
easily available it's not like you will search for contraceptive for so many years and after years you will get that no that should be easily available in you know in every medical shop in in every medical shop chemist shop okay so ideal contraceptive should not have much effects or we can say it should have least effects side effects should have least side effects okay i hope this concept is clear they should have least side effects moreover they should not uh, interfere with the drive of sexual user okay use with the use user they should not uh, interfere with the sexual drive okay i hope this concept is clear i'll tell you what are the contraceptives which one can use contraceptives are of different types right contraceptives are of different types like <coughs> we have natural or we can say traditional methods right or we have barrier methods we have pills we have injections injectables we have implants we have surgical methods okay we have so many methods like we have first method that is natural or traditional methods right then we have barrier methods after barrier methods we have pills oral orally taken by females then we have injectables or we can say implants another contraceptive moreover we have surgical methods as well okay so we have lot of uh, contraceptives which a person can use right and i already mentioned what should be the what should be features of ideal contraceptive like it should be user friendly and all that so talking about uh, natural methods talking about natural methods i'll tell you what are natural methods okay बस वीडियो बनावा बस इस वीडियो बनावा यू हैक ने भी पॉज कर जो ओबीएस नेचुरल मेथड्स हाउ वी कैन यूज दिस नेचुरल मेथड्स नेचुरल मेथड्स फर्स्ट नेचुरल मेथड और वी कैन से ट्रेडिशनल मेथड अनदर नेम ऑफ नेचुरल मेथड इज ट्रेडिशनल मेथड ओके another method we have traditional method how can we use these natural methods or traditional methods first natural method we have that don't have intercourse avoid intercourse during day 10 to day 14 of day 17 of menstrual cycle avoid intercourse during this cycle okay day, from day 10 to day 17 avoid intercourse during this time why because um, chances of of ovulation is much 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 higher so we shouldn't we should avoid uh, intercourse during this stage which is also known as fertile period we shouldn't have intercourse uh, at this time as at this time okay this is the first traditional method since we don't use any of the external devices so this is known as natural method another method another method is lactational amenorrhea a menorrhea a menorrhea means absence of menstruation 
that means a female who is feeding who is lactating her child will not have menstruation during that very period which is almost 6 months after parturition parturition means delivery of the baby after 6 months of parturition female undergoes lactational amenorrhea she don't have any kind of menstruation okay that means absence of menstruation and obviously since menstruation doesn't occur that means whole cycle doesn't occur menstrual cycle don't doesn't occur that means no female gamete is released during this phase so a partner can have intercourse with his with his partner during this period because the female is amenorrheate at that time because she is not having any kind of menstruation therefore gametes are not released during this particular time right another method of natural methods is withdrawal method okay withdrawal method is done by males what is withdrawal method withdrawal method simply means withdrawal method withdrawal method simply means withdrawal method simply means that male should withdraw his penis male external genitalia when he feels he is about to ejaculate i am saying withdrawal method is that method during which a male will feel a desire that he is about to ejaculate he should withdraw his penis why because during once he will withdraw his penis once he will withdraw his penis he will ejaculate outside the female body not inside vagina okay so it can prevent pregnancy but since all these methods are traditional or natural and we are not using anything any device we are just assuming that we will avoid pregnancy its chances of failure is much much my much higher it it has its own pros and cons first thing is that its chances of failure is much 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 higher chances of failure is much higher okay another what is benefit of this natural method it's having no side effect not least it has it is having no side effect it is having no side effect okay chances of failure is much 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 higher but it is having no side effect so one can perform these natural methods in order to avoid pregnancy but he or she is not pretty much sure that it, whether it will work or not because we are not using any kind of external devices we are just performing these uh, what we call as uh, intercourse you know naturally we are just blindly following natural methods so chances of failure is much higher but it is having no side effects okay i hope this concept is clear in this video what we saw in the session what we saw we saw that world population in 1900 was 2 billion b4 billion okay in 2000 it went to 6 billion in 2011 it went to 7.2 billion in contra contrasting indian population was 350 million in 1945 it was 1 billion in 2000 and 1.2 billion in 2011 okay this is the clear differentiation between world population and indian population and as per 2011 census report every child in 1000 childs per 20 child in per year was what that child was of india 20 per 1000 per year okay 20 per 1000 per year and what is the, what's the issue in that 20 per 1000 per year what is the issue in this we can face scarcity of food okay when population increases we can face obviously scarcity of food moreover we can face scarcity of shelter scarcity of clothing so on and so forth and after this i talked about uh, natural contraceptives are of so many types like natural or traditional methods barrier methods pills injectables implant surgical methods and in this video we just saw natural or traditional methods okay in which we we mainly have three methods first method is withdrawal method Method during which um, male 
withdraws his penis okay second method we have lactational amenorrhea and third method which we have was don't intercourse don't you know don't have intercourse during day 10 to day 17 of menstrual cycle okay i hope this concept is clear in next video we will talk about other contraceptives as well till then goodbye take care thank you thank you so much